Listen, summer is right around the corner. And if you're looking for that even glowing body skin, you're in the right place. Got me a little bit of a beauty haul, or a lot of bit of a beauty haul, and you're probably not even gonna believe some of the stuff that I got. And shout out to Walmart for sponsoring today's video. Keep watching. shower temperature. Now I say this often because hot water zaps the skin of moisture. And skin of color is already suffering from trans epidermal water loss, which you know from watching this channel is a fancy term that means our skin has a hard time holding on to the hydration that it desperately needs. So chill with the hot water, all right? And no, adding extra body butters and oils are not going to negate the fact that you injured your skin with the hot water. Now, some of y'all be beside yourselves sometimes because you think when I said no hot showers that I mean to shower in cold water. That's not what I'm saying. Just gradually turn the water temperature down until you get to warm. You'll be fine. You'll be less itchy. Your skin is gonna glow. You'll have less issues with dryness because if I have not drilled it into you enough already on this channel, Dryness can actually lead to hyperpigmentation, yup. Yeah? Irritation that your skin may receive can turn into inflammation that can lead to hyperpigmentation. While you are in the shower, there are some products that you can use to help get you closer to that glowing skin you're after. Now, body acne can be a bigger pain as the weather starts to warm up. To try and avoid it, you want to stay out of sweaty clothing for too long. So when you come back from the gym, you know, you do your little workout plan or whatever, Get out of them gym clothes as soon as possible. Ditto when it comes to whatever you're wearing for the day outside, gallivanting, getting all hot and sweaty, coming inside the house smelling like outside. Get out of those clothes as quickly as you can. Now, while you are here in the shower, try a salicylic acid body wash. Walmart has a number of options, but one that I love and can't get enough of is the Colt Classic Neutrogena Body Clear Acne Wash. This has 2% salicylic acid in it. It's gentle enough to use every day. Now keep in mind, your body skin tends to be a little bit different, can handle a little bit more than your facial skin can. Now of course, everybody's skin is different, so before you go full force into something, try it on a small patch of your body first. Because the last thing you want is to be trying to clean clear your acne and then use something that's too strong and then you irritate your skin and you already know irritation can lead to inflammation that can lead to hyperpigmentation. Now some more chemical exfoliation options that I found at Walmart came from the new Beauty Space by Space NK. Beauty Space by Space NK is like a little mini curated boutique within Walmart. They sell prestige brands like Slip, Foreo, By Terry, you know, some of those shishi foo foos. It also includes some more affordable ones like Mario Badescu, who, by the way, makes one of my favorite glycolic acid body washes. You can get a ridiculous amount of this. You see how big this is, 16 fluid ounces for not that much money. So this uses glycolic acid and grapefruit to gently exfoliate the body. But remember what I said, everybody's skin is different. So if your skin is more on the sensitive side and you've never tried a glycolic acid on your body before, Give it a little bit of a patch test before you go full out. I like to use this a few times a week, maybe no more than two to three times a week, and then I alternate with more of a gentle body wash. Now, you can apply this and massage it into the body with your hands, or for hard to reach areas like the back, you can use a brush like this, which I also picked up at Walmart, and it is linked in the description box with everything else. Now, side note, if you are watching YouTube from your TV, you're going to need to grab your phone, your laptop, your tablet, whatever device, so that you can access that description box. Now, if you have very dry and or sensitive skin, you wanna be very mindful of the products that you use with fragrance. Fragrance can be subjective. It's not gonna bother everyone, but it can be an irritant for people with dry and or sensitive skin, so be mindful of that. If you're looking for fragrance-free products, I typically use them in 
in the winter time when my skin does tend to be a little bit dry and sensitized, make sure you check out this video for some fragrance free options. Now let's talk about body hair and how it can contribute to hyperpigmentation. Now what you do with your body hair, you keep it, you remove it, that's your business. But understand for many people, the way you remove your body hair can lead to irritation, that can lead to inflammation, that can lead to hyperpigmentation. And the more you remove the hair, the more you're on that cycle of getting more dark spots. Now I know this is an affordable video, but one of the best things that you can do for body hair is to get laser hair removal with a well vetted skin of color pro we talk about that a lot on the channel I will link to a playlist that you can check out the less you're removing the hair the less opportunity you have to get hyperpigmentation electrolysis is another option but on the body I think it may be a little tedious it's probably best for areas where there's not that much hair but Look into both with a well vetted skin of color pro. But if you do shave, you want to make sure that you are using a fresh blade every time. Avoid dry shaving and make sure that you shave in the direction of the hair growth. I tried the Billy line for shaving a while back. I love the razors, the accessories, the shaving cream, and everything is under 10 bucks, which I, I love that even more, but you love when something is affordable and accessible, but it's also a good product. Before I shave, I make sure my skin is wet and I apply my shaving cream. We do not shave dry. That mess can be irritating and you already know where that can lead to. Um, and I'm gonna need y'all to ignore the battle scars on my legs. I went to Jamaica and the mosquitoes and the sand flies ate me up. And no, shaving does not make the hair grow in thicker and faster. That is a myth. It may feel that way because when you shave you're cutting the hair at a blunt point so that blunt point feels a little thicker and it feels like it's growing in faster because again when you shave you're cutting it at a blunt point the hair now has less of a journey to travel to you know where you see it on the skin than if you would have removed it from the follicle because the follicle you know it's like oh, I gotta grow from the follicle but when you shave it it's like, oh, I only got to grow from right here. There are conditions where people have excessive growth of body and facial hair. It's typically the hormones that are causing that extra regrowth of hair in those areas. I just love how smooth my legs feel after I shave with this. The hair on my legs doesn't, you know, it's not as much as, you know, hair on other parts of my body. So I don't have to shave my legs as often. For my underarms and my bikini hair, I'm currently doing laser hair removal. I've only had two sessions. We'll talk about that down the line. It takes maybe eight to 10 sessions and each session is six weeks in between. So as you can tell, that's way down the line. We'll talk about that later on. But for more of a breakdown on how hair removal can lead to hyperpigmentation, there's a video where we break it on down. But let's continue talking about this glowing skin honey. Now directly after I shave, I don't do the most. Don't do the most. I don't do any chemical or physical exfoliations right after I shave. I usually wait maybe a day or two before I do any of that. No crazy products. I just put my lotion on and my sunscreen on and I go on about my life. The best time to apply your moisturizer is right after a shower, a warm shower, not a hot shower. While your skin is still damp, you'll lock in that hydration from the water on your skin. Your skin will love it. In the winter, I do go for fragrance free because my skin tends to be drier and more sensitive then. If you want some fragrance free options, there's a video on that for you to check out. However, when the weather starts to warm up, I personally can start to dibble dabble back into fragranced skincare. Now everybody's skin is different, so if you've never tried something before, you can do that patch test. For a lightweight body lotion that smells amazing but also has skin benefiting ingredients, you know, like petrolatum and humectants, I'm loving the classic Vaseline cocoa radiant body lotion and if you're going out at night and want to glow or if it's for a quick photo shoot the Vaseline petroleum jelly oil is still that girl during the day y'all know you're supposed to be wearing your sunscreen now some of y'all it takes a little bit of like you know a little persuasion to get you to do it however I think that when you see the type of glow that you can get from these affordable sunscreen products you might be like okay this copper tone glow SPF 50 is water resistant up to 40 minutes and it's a lotion that has this beautiful subtle yet stunning 
gold shimmer in it. It also comes in a spray. Now, if you're looking for more of a gilded, greased up kind of look, the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration SPF 30 Dry Sunscreen Oil might be right up your alley. Now, you know you're supposed to reapply your sunscreen every two hours when you are outside, and I think because these look so beautiful on the skin that you'll be like, okay, I'll do that, Danielle. You know, I got you. But you don't got me. You're supposed to be getting yourself. It's not about, well, it is about me, <laughs> but it's about you. Now, these are chemical sunscreens but if you're looking for mineral sunscreen for your body good luck <laughs> no I'm just kidding I actually I've gone through a few there they're, they're not that many that actually look really good on deeper skin but I did find some as well as some like hacks that you can use to kind of make it look a little better there's a video on that so make sure you check it out now I'm just gonna say something about body discoloration because I get a lot of comments about people asking about how they can get an even skin tone from head to toe and you know yada yada now my brothers and sisters all y'all out there um a lot of that discoloration for us is natural especially in areas of high friction or where the skin is thicker like the elbows the knees behind the neck but although behind the neck if you may want to bring that up with your doctor behind the neck all of a sudden is really dark because that could be a sign of something else other areas of high friction can be under the arms because we're you know you're walking and doing whatnot and you're constantly shaving that can lead to the discoloration underneath there parts of the bootay, you know, because you're sitting down, you're getting up, you're sitting down, you're getting up. Areas where you're like twisting and turning, so you may notice some discoloration around, you know, your waistline or where there are folds of skin. A lot of that is natural. Now, why is it natural? Because in areas of friction, friction can, you know, be a form of irritation that can lead to inflammation. And you already know when that happens that our melanocytes tend to overproduce melanin as a response because the melanocytes are like, yo, what's going on here? What we got to do to, to, to make sure everything is copacetic. So that's exactly what happens. And for a lot of us, it is completely natural. A lot of us don't have even skin from head to toe. It, you're gonna be all right. Of course, if you get something like a mosquito bite or you bump into something or you get a scratch or a cut or something like that, and that causes some discoloration on your body or maybe from some acne. Now, something like that is a little different. Luckily, the steps that we already talked about, the turning the water temperature down, making sure that your skin is properly moisturized, moisturizing while your skin is still damp, doing some exfoliation, a couple of days a week wearing your sunscreen every day because the sun can also worsen pigmentation and make discoloration worse those are the steps that you want to take if you're dealing with discoloration or hyperpigmentation on your body but we also need to be realistic so yes there are pro treatments that you can get with a skin of color pro a well vetted skin of color pro but be realistic areas of high friction your underarms in between the thighs the booty area unless you plan on walking around <laughs> like this <laughs> even if you clear the discoloration chances are that after time that it's going to slowly come back because we don't walk like zombies now if you get hyperpigmentation from something like a cut a bruise a bug bite a burn etc and it's not on an area of high friction maybe it's like on the chest on the back on your legs of course that you would want to clear and we have a lot of videos on clearing hyperpigmentation on this channel you can check that out me myself personally i do prefer an antiperspirant deodorant with the aluminum in it. There's been a lot of fear mongering around aluminum. Lab Muffin Beauty Science has a video on her channel that breaks it down, but I understand some people may have a sensitivity towards it and you know they may want to use an alternative like a natural deodorant. Just gonna put a little teeny bit of a warning here because you know everybody's skin is different. However, some natural deodorants may use ingredients that are actually even more irritating to the sensitive skin underneath the arms. One in particular can be bacon soda. That can be something that can be a little irritating underneath there. Now, if you're looking to keep that area less discolored, because, you know, keeping it completely free of discoloration can be a little tricky depending on what you got going on underneath there. You may want to avoid baking soda. You may want to avoid certain fragrances. So I would do a little bit of a patch test before trying some of these natural deodorants before you go, you know, slap them on in and all of a sudden it's like, I picked up three dossier fragrances that are inspired by designer and niche fragrances that I actually own. So let's compare. And yes, you can get dossier at Walmart. First, the Floral Marshmallow, which is inspired by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, which is rumored to be a fave of a certain international pop star. To me, it does very much smell like 
love don't be shy it doesn't last as long i'm not quite sure if the dossier fragrances are eau de parfum but the love don't be shy definitely is but if you're on a budget and you just can't bring yourself to spend the bigger price tag on the Killian fragrance, I say this is not that bad. You can get yourself a travel size atomizer and just carry it with you throughout the day. So when, you know, when the smell starts to linger off, you can just chin re up. Woody Chestnut, which is inspired by Mason Martin Margiela's replica by the fireplace, which happens to be like, I fell in love with that fragrance, like, oh, but the thing is even the original, because the original is an eau de toilette, the original doesn't last as long as I would want it to. This one feels like it has an even shorter, lifespan. I also picked up the Ambery Saffron, which is inspired by the Mason Francis Curjean Rouge Baccarat 540. It does smell a lot like the Rouge Baccarat 540. However, it does not last as long at all. The Rouge Baccarat is an eau de parfum. I'm not quite sure if Dossier's fragrances are eau de parfum or eau de toilette. I was like looking all over their website and couldn't find like a definitive answer. I don't know, y'all let me know in the comments. If you're on a budget and you just want that like essence, that vibe, that like closeness to the Rouge Baccarat 540, but you don't wanna spend that Rouge Baccarat 540 price tag, this might be one to check out. I don't have it, but Ariana Grande also has a fragrance that smells very much like the Rouge Baccarat 540. I'll link it below because you can also get that at Walmart too. And again, if you watch from your TV, grab your phone, your laptop, your tablet or whatever so that you can access the description box. Have you tried anything that I mentioned in this video? Do you plan on trying anything that I've mentioned in this video? Let's get all chitty chatty about it in the comments. Now I am leaving you here with my body skincare playlist. A lot of times in this video I was like, oh I did a video on this net and the third da, 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 da. It's here for your viewing pleasure and I'll see you fine folks in my next one. Bye guys.